All right, guys, welcome back. This is my second channel, the first video on my second channel. This channel is supposed to be about my animals, which it will be. I have a lot of animals, including all of these. Like, there's a lot. Like, all of the shelves are full of never. So I'm gonna show y'all. If y'all haven't already subscribed to my first channel, it's it's G V capital G capital V. Uh, y'all go subscribe. And if you came here for my first channel, be sure to comment down below. And uh, I'll see y'all in the video. First of all, we're gonna start right at the beginning when you walk through this gate. You're gonna immediately see my leopard gecko tank. Now we've only had them for about a month, but uh, it's almost time for night, and they're nocturnal, so he's kind of getting out of his rock that he hides under right there. But yeah, this is him. And under that is my quarantine tank. See, the tank right there has had a lot of diseases, so I had to move some of the fish in here, and sadly, that one, that one battle shark did not survive the disease. It's like a really bad disease, about like 15 fish and died from it in that tank. This tank we actually set up last weekend. It's a really nice tank, I love it. Especially how big the goldfish are now, like look at that guy. We had to move them, they were also in that tank, and we moved them into this tank. So this is a grass tank also that would have been through there. And these tanks I'm going to put later on this channel actually. I'm going to put a ball path on that one. On the that I'm not sure about that one. Comment down below what you think I should put in that. It's a two and a half gallon. I need to comment down below what I think I should put. Then this is the 180 gallon tank. It's the biggest tank I have. I got it about two years ago, and I've had it ever since. It's a really nice tank. But we have all these exotic fish. We actually have a beta fish. We have, there's an angel fish, a garam, mini garami, garami. These things, whatever they're called, more angel fish, Danios. Uh, we got this angelfish, another the other type of danio, tiger barbs, bala sharks, quarry catfish, all kinds of things in here. This is an amazing hundred eight gallons on the tank. And then flipping around from that, right here, let's look at the first tank. We have actually my forty gallon bearded dragon tank. I'm gonna upgrade it, don't worry, I know I shouldn't have two in a forty gallon, but this is their tank for now. We got big bacon hamburger. They're living really nicely, so I'm going to keep them in the 40 gallon for a bit longer and then change them in probably about a month or so to a 75 gallon or even bigger. But yeah, that is, and I know people say they shouldn't be housed together, but they absolutely live it. We tried taking them apart one time and they could not stand it, so yes, they're going to be staying in here for like about a month longer than we're going to change them. Right to the left of that, we got my Venus flytrap. It just eats the bugs around here. I got it a couple days ago, just still living. And right here, we got my two-gallon betta fish tank. He's actually a baby betta fish, as you can see. He's a veil tail baby betta fish. And in here, he has his two snail friends. But yeah, there's nothing much to say about that one. My two gallons, my betta fish tank. And down here, we got my five-gallon fluval crawfish tank. He is right there in the corner, as you can see. But yeah, he's, he's been, he actually was originally in this tank, but he ate his friend and some other fish in the tank, so I just moved them to that tank. And then right here, we're going to actually put crested geckos in here, the 30 vertical. So yeah, soon on this channel, crested geckos will be in this one, and we're going to hang that up soon too. It's going to go up in the wall. And we're going to get one of these shelves right here to have all the tanks that I have. And then to the left here, we actually have my bunny. So, story about this, we got him today. And my cat actually brought him inside, and he literally had him by the neck, so we thought he was going to die, so we kind of fed him milk and everything, and then we were going to, thought about releasing him outside, but then we realized the cat would just get him again, and then kill him, and he probably wouldn't even be able to find his mom, so what we're going to do is we're going to nurse him to full health, get him a little bit older, then let him back outside, but he has a really nice tank. After this, I think we're going to get guinea pigs in this tank, and in this tank... We actually have my Central American Wood Turtles. They're not in here right now. They're actually outside over there, but it's way too dark to film. So I'll film that another time. So that'll be it for today's video. You see all this in here. There's a lot of tanks that you can see. And a lot more coming. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, be sure to smash the like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.